Hey everyone, this is Paisley Playfully and I'm back with Minecraft Hardcore Challenge. It's a new month and so we begin our new season. Uh, this month's challenge is titled the Underground Challenge. We have one day above ground to collect the resources that we want and then at dusk we are to retreat underground where we shall stay for the remainder of the month. That's a total of eight nights, seven days. Uh, now just to cover a few basics, the nether is considered underground, the end is not restricted because let's face it, if you get to the end surely it's more of a hindrance than a help to your survival anyways. Um, other tweaks to the rules include that you can now kill animals but this is for food only and it's under the premise that you must first breed as many as you are to kill, meaning if you breed one baby animal, you can kill one adult. Okay, so I have no idea what's waiting on the other side, but as you can see, I've got my world set up and ready to go. Obviously, game mode is turned to hardcore, our seed has been plugged in, and large biomes is turned on. So let's go ahead and jump in and see what awaits us. I'm also going to take this moment to start my 20 minute timer so we can keep track. Now, wow, okay, we've got a village. So first things first, definitely going to grab this food. This is going to help us so much. Uh, whoops. Going to want to grab these carrots. I prefer carrots to wheat. Um, for some reason, wheat just seems like so much effort. You know, having so many stages of growth and then having to use three wheat. Oh, potatoes three wheat to make bread and potatoes is even better I mean carrots is nice because you don't have to cook them but potatoes is really the substance food in this game um, I could almost not worry about animals at this point um, I don't think we would ever get through this many potatoes anyway, you know? I think this is more potatoes than we had for the whole of uh, the Mission Impossible challenge, so pretty nice. Thanks Michael for giving us such a fantastic start. I'm definitely gonna thrive in this world. This is fantastic. Okay, I'm just um, grabbing the wheat that is fully grown. Blech. Not that one, this one. Um, because that's easy. You can just quickly make that into bread. Um, it's already there. And we'll collect a little bit of seeds. So if we find chickens, of course we can lure them. And as we experienced from last season, you are likely to run into chickens underground. Oh my god, so many potatoes. Okay. So I want to spend the 10 minutes of daylight that we've got pretty much collecting just anything and everything that you can get on the surface and you can't for, cert bleh, for certain get underground. Um, so this, these potatoes, is, uh, I don't know, we're not even going to have to farm to be honest. That's like two stacks. That's crazy. And did we have a blacksmith? There's more carrots. I can't resist now. This is probably wasting our time. Um, but it's just so tasty. Mm. Have you got a good deal? No. I could almost do villager breeding this season. If I got these guys underground, hey, don't run away. Got you. 12 fish, that's a lot. And what have you got, villager? Books for emeralds. Nice. Okay. Plans. Um, let's go see what we've got in this chest first. Diamonds. Nice. Bread, keep us going. And. I'm gonna really care about this stuff. Oak saplings, that's gonna make a huge difference. We're not even gonna have to run anywhere to chop down any trees. Wow. <laughs> what a fantastic start. This is really great. Okay, have I checked you? No, that's pretty useless to me. Uh, books. We could whip, get in there, tear down these books, and get an emerald straight away. If we find 
another villager with a great trade. That'd be something interesting. Um, we should probably get some basic tools made as well. Okay, let's see. Uh, da -da -da -da. Let's just get enough wood to get some sticks going. And, oh yeah, we're gonna need enough wood for our first pickaxe to think that should do it. Yeah, okay. Let's give this a go. Yep. All good. And then... Where did I pick that torch up from? Uh, okay. Stone. So that's three for a pickaxe. Another three for an axe. And then two for... Oh there. Okay, I'm too impatient today. Two for a sword and one for a spade. Or a shovel, as normal people call them. But <laughs> my language settings are set to uh, English UK, so <laughs> my shovel is now a spade. Okay. Uh, grab you, two. Okay. Uh, make these into sticks, too. And upgrading to a stone pickaxe. Let's just keep them on there. And then what did I say? A axe, a shovel, and we're out of wood. Urgh. Okay. Grab another two. Wasting daylight here. So, I think um, I'm not going to bother about trying to get any animals. We've definitely got enough food with the, the potatoes and the carrots as is. And um, the only other thing you really need uh, animals for is uh, chickens for feathers, which you can't kill anyway, um, because that's not for food. And um, cow for leather, which again is not for food. So I am going to trade for an emerald because that gives us enough books to still enchant onto and for an enchanting table. Ooh, ah. Okay, anyway. What, what's your other trade? Written book. No? Uh, hello? God, you guys are getting confusing. Who's where? Arrows? Oh yeah, yeah, okay, I'll take you. Um, let's see, let's go grab a little bit more of this wheat and we'll get that other emerald. Arrows is pretty good because like I was saying, you can't kill chickens for feathers. So the only other way you're going to get arrows is by killing a whole heap of skeletons, which, I don't know, too many of them tried to kill me last season, so I'm going to try to stay away from them. Now, where was that one that gives you wheat? No? No? Damn, did we lose him? Ah, oh, man, I'm running out of time. Um, no, that was... No. Where are you? Okay, you, right? No. Oh, Christ. <laughs> You get a texture pack where everybody's supposed to look unique, yet they look exactly the same. Uh, any more villagers? No, right? We didn't... we could get more arrows? Oh, there's one outside too. Uh, none of you guys? This guy around the back. He's looking interesting. No. Damn. Okay. No. No. Okay, I'm wasting my time now. Come back. Ah. Okay, fine. Another arrow. Uh, you guys are gonna have to just excuse me for one moment. I've got a phone call I gotta take. Just be back in a quick moment. Okay guys, sorry about that, but I'm back now. 
Uh, I forgot to stop my timer so things are a little bit out of whack now but I think I got 11 minutes left. Uh, that means a minute of daylight so I want to focus on getting a little bit of wood. Um, I want to scout out oop, for some uh, sugarcane as well. Might as well grab these flowers actually. They're pretty cute. Could have a use for them. Right, so uh, sugarcane and clay. Um, I think they're the only main concerns that I definitely won't be able to get once we go underground. Whole heap of squid. Um, I might just grab some of this sand as well. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna get an opportunity to get this underground. That should be plenty. Uh, let's just keep roaming. Let's head towards that roofed forest. Maybe we'll find something promising over there. Nope. Whoa. Almost fell down that hole. Yep. Sun is definitely setting now. So uh, we've got a couple of good caves we can get into. Uh, but there's a little bit of water. A little bit more water. Now this looks promising. Big open space. Uh, yep. There we go. Some clay. Perfect. Ah, I don't want to be down in the water, otherwise we'll just end up digging slowly. Okay. Right. Now, let's get back into that cave we saw back there. Uh, let's see, where was it? Over this way, yeah? Okay. Um, really? Okay, I saw a skeleton down there. I don't really want to rumble with him the second we get down there. So let's try another cave. Uh, yep, I suppose this will be the one. A uh, little bit of iron, which is nice. Um, where's that? Axe. Pickaxe, that is. Let's grab this. Now that we're heading underground, I think my main focus is going to be getting um, iron tools and iron armor. Uh, it's not something that I focused on much, or should I say enough, last season. Um, luckily, we managed to stay alive, but I don't really want to have to rely on that luck again. So, hopefully we can get suited up pretty fast. Now, where is that? skeleton rattling from. You can see him. Got a glimpse of him. Here we go. Ah, damn it. Okay. Is that it? We need torches. Got no coal. At the moment we've got one torch. Really now. Ugh, and there's another skeleton. Okay, just don't die, don't die, don't die. Okay, you guys probably can't see anything at the moment. There we go. <laughs> Alright, and a little bit of coal here. Nice. Oh, crap. Just as I saw him. <laughs> oh, man. What was I saying about not wanting to fight skeletons? <laughs> and then three in the first episode, really. Alright, um, torches, let's get this place secure, and then we will eat and heal up. Yeah, I think, I think we're safe down here now. Okay, food. Right. And let's see, what else is in, okay, dead end, nice. I, I prefer a dead end feel a little bit more comfortable. We might as well go back and take these torches. Um, that was it, right? Yeah, okay. And we will just go ahead and block ourselves off. Let's block ourselves. Sorry, I know you guys can't see anything. I'll fix that in just a second. Block ourselves off like that. There we go. 
now let's see how much iron that's a chest plate or pants and a sword um, and we've got one iron ingot you know what I'll do pants and a iron pickaxe I think that's probably most beneficial to us haven't got that much wood hmm uh, should have probably thought about it a bit more and made a little bit um, not made but collected a little bit more wood when we were out there but oh well too late now okay that's gonna need two bits of coal uh, yeah so basically I want to get a iron pickaxe made because as I mentioned I want to focus on getting iron armor and tools as soon as possible um, get ourselves well protected and be able to defend ourselves um, but I figure since we're underground uh, there's really no need to stay up near the surface because we can't go out there at any point under any circumstance anyway um, so we might as well go right down to level 11 and start digging around maybe we'll find some diamonds as well that'd be nice uh, I want to hang on to these diamonds to get to a diamond pickaxe as soon as possible and uh, get to mining obsidian then we can think about uh, options to go to the nether or get an enchanting table made and you know enchant our iron armor and such uh, so I'm gonna hang on to that I'm not gonna use it for anything else um, almost done here just trying to think if there's anything else I want to consider a bucket might be good actually instead of pants hmm because I can hear that water and we're gonna need a bucket anyway I imagine okay bucket it is um, that gives us five pieces oh you know what while that's still going might as well cook some potatoes um, five pieces should we make boots boots or a bucket Hmm. Decisions. Boots. No. Helmet. <laughs> yeah, okay, fine. Helmet. That seems a good use of everything. Um, wait for this last one and then forget it. I'm not gonna waste any more time. Okay. Let's break. Oop. Uh, huh? We'll do that with a axe. And let's go down to level 11. 43 at the moment. Got a fair bit to go. So, as we're just digging down here, I want to take the opportunity to talk to you guys about goals for this challenge. Uh, this month's challenge is very open-ended. If you compare it to last month, there were very defined tasks, uh, like get to the stronghold, turn the stronghold into your home. But because we don't have that um, this time around, I would like to come up with my own end goals. You know, something similar to how I set myself the challenge of making pumpkin pie last month. Um, well, Oh man. Um. Hmm. Grab that. Still too high for diamond. But. I mean, when you've got a cave, it's always just too too exciting to pass up. There's our obsidian when we're ready for it. 
Remember to light the place up as we go. I saw some gold over there, that's nice. So, as I was saying, I want to come up with an end goal. Now, I've thought of a few fun ideas myself, but I wanted to open up the suggestions to you guys. Uh, you know, what sort of challenges or end goals would you like to see me try to achieve? Uh, they can be something simple, like get X or do Y, but you know, they can be creative too. I like the creative side of Minecraft, and uh, you could suggest something crazy, like build an aquarium, I don't know, anything really. And uh, if you are participating in this month's challenge and you've set yourself a end goal, let me know about it. I think a bit of friendly rivalry never hurt. Um, now, you can hear the rattling again. The rattling of bones. Oh man, this is a pretty open cave. Okay, might as well check to see if there's any diamond underneath all this redstone. We're on the right level now. Let me just go quickly check how long we've been recording. Okay, yeah, I think uh, this is where I'm going to sign off. Um, I look forward to hearing all your suggestions, and I'll see you all on Friday. Thanks for watching. Bye.